All right, folks, it's the finale in the valley. These sauces going against each other. I want to thank 125west.com and, and Maverick Pens for helping us out. Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. Today we're going to try to do some chicken wings. We're going to try to do chicken wings uh, and, and do a little testing, folks. We want to figure out uh, which kind of chicken wings uh, cook the best, you know, which, which way you can cook them that make them cook the best. So we brined our chicken wings uh, all night and uh, we've got it in a brine of salt water that's uh, coarse salt and honey. Uh, I didn't really put any rub in it because we're fixing to put rub all over our chicken wings. And uh, so uh, I guess we're going to start off to do is uh, we're going to get our smoking coal. We've got buds of butt dust and smoking coals, and that's going to be our rub for today. You can buy them at www.smokingcoals.com. And uh, uh, but our uh, uh, main premise I think I'm going to do is uh, we're going to cook a whole wing in three different groups and we're going to try out three different wing sauces. We've got wing time garlic and then we've got smoking coals and then we've got ass whooping golden sauce and uh, we're going to try uh, a panel in just a few minutes after we get all this done and uh, we're going to try to see uh, you know which one they like the best so uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, get started and uh, uh, let me get a few of these wings out uh, we're going to do them in groups of three and I got three wings right here and uh, as far as rubs go we're going to uh, rub them all down basically the same way uh, I want to start off with a little smoking coals. You always look for that vacuum seal when you open up a new bottle so you know that it's fresh. And, uh, smoking coals uh, rub is really good on chicken. And, uh, put a little bit on these three. I'm going to turn them over. Now, I brined it because it'll force all the blood out of the chicken. Uh, boy, if you look at that chicken right there, you can tell it's just as yellow and fresh looking. Uh, I think in, in a lot of ways it's because all the blood's forced out. So, that's a big, big chicken legs. And we got these chicken legs from Save a Lot. You know, I love Save a Lot. I think I've told you that about a hundred times, but uh might let you know one more time that uh, we are crazy about Save a Lot. Okay, now we're going to put Buzz's butt dust on here, and I'll tell you why, because it's good and red, and uh, we'll get that red golden flavor, good golden color. Uh, Here's our chicken in the brine right now. We let it sit overnight. Buzz's butt dust on. Most of the time it's no good, so it doesn't do a whole lot of cooking. Uh, rub them. Okay, we got these little pans I bought. Three for a dollar, 33 cents a piece. I thought that was a good deal. And uh, what I want to do with these little pans is make a butter bath. And I tell you, competition chicken is always cooking a butter bath. And I feel like. Uh, chicken wings I want to try them in a butter bath and, and that's really like you know one of the main reasons we want to do some testing on these wings today is uh, I'm gonna try a couple dry and then uh, okay yep. well they're touching each other you know some cooks don't want their meat to touch each other because where they touch uh, they'll uh, won't cook as good. Now we can do this method. A little bit more compact, but now I'm 
folding it up and I'm compressing the meat, well, that affects the temperature. I mean, the, the cooking of, you know, you end up cooking. Ten for these things are so little. Cut this in half. Pleasant butt dust is. Pleasant butt dust is good as uh, uh, make all your stuff work. Yeah, I'm going to start off cooking them, of course, top side up. And then 45 minutes. some butter, put it in a pan. Okay, pan number two. to see these laid out and that one's folded up which one uh cooks better I'll test that out too That's, some people call that a butter bath. I just call it a good way to cook. Mm. 
Your main man, Fraz. Fraz Frazan. He don't believe in butter bath. What's up, Fraz? Hope you're doing good, Tennessee. What's up today? Hope the senator's doing good out there. What's up, Senator? All right, now. We got five left, so we're going to take all five of them out. And of course, we're going to rub it all down with the same stuff, so it doesn't matter if we get it in this rub that's on the table here. All right, first thing we want to do is start off with a pair of scissors. Now, what we want to do is try to cut them up in halves. So, these things are supposed to cut anything, they're cut co. Let's see how they do about cutting these wings apart. Oh yeah. Okay. Looks like the biggest problem was was uh me not predicting where the corner was getting out. There. Ah, I cut the bone off. Uh, I missed I missed the uh, corner by just a little bit. That'll be good. Okay, I found it that time. Yeah, now I got it. I got it. Okay, that one did good. Good. Not bad. All right, now, one thing they say is that, well, that's really in the cartilage. If you use scissors on a bone, it'll crush the bone and make uh, splinters. Splinters are kind of dangerous in chicken. Uh, you get a piece of bone. Now we got our Frederick Dick knives. Look at this thing. Whoa! <laughs> hey, these Frederick Dick knives are something else. Watch this. I'm gonna find a corner right there. I guess I don't think it really matters. I believe it would just chop right through the bone. Frederick Dick, what's up? Okay. Let's get this little bitty knife down, a little four inch knife. Whoa, this thing's dangerous. Uh, here. here it is. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Hey, that thing there cut as good as the big one. All right, so we're going to try to. Uh, now these things are no good, you know, we're just going to throw them away. Must be one more wing somewhere. No, that's it. Should have five of them. Oh, here you go. Okay. Yeah, they're no good. So we're just going to discard them. But now we've got our uh, single pieces. And now what we want to do with these is the same as the others. But uh, we want to see how they cook up. If they cook up better than a whole one. Or they don't cook up quite as good as a whole. Uh, I, I really don't know the answer to that question, but we hope to discover the answer here in just a minute. After we get done, so we're just going to set all these in the little pan. I'm trying to make it where they're not touching each other, but good God, it's going to be awful full. I don't know if we can or not. We've got 10 pieces put in there. Quite a bit of meat on there. These things will shrink up though, they'll be little by the time. Okay, let's put a little smoky coals on there. To 
To me, it looks like they've kept rub, rub better. Cut up a small piece. Okay. Uh, I am going to do one thing different here. And I'm going to cook them dry. I'm not going to put any butter in them. So let's see how these two pieces stack up with these two pieces. I'm going to put tinfoil on it, but I'm not going to put any uh, any butter in. And Fred will have to try you out. Fred says he doesn't believe in a butter bath. But now he'll stand there and spray it with butter, but he won't put it in a butter bath. I wasted more tinfoil on the one with no butter than I did the rest of them. Okay. All right. Well, let's move into the house now. Put these in the oven. 300 degrees. We're going to leave them in there for 45 minutes. I'm going to get them out, turn them over, leave them in there for another 30 minutes with no tinfoil on them. And then we're going to pull them out, sauce them up good, and then we're going to go to our panel. My cookouts were boring, my smoker tasted bad, no one came to my barbecue, we was all sad. I bought a backwards smoker, now I'm downtown. My friends are all happy, backwards smoker deserves a crown. Yee-haw! Backwards smoker, you need to get you one today. All right, folks, now these three here are our three big wings. Uh, this one here is our two in the dry without any uh, butter. And this one here is uh, our uh, wing split in two pieces. And uh, we need to make sure we keep this down here sealed. So uh, I think in the big grand bottom, we're going to put the these two. Let's see, let's put this way. No, no. Okay, we'll put it this way. And then we may just have to put this one here. These are the dry ones. We put them in the middle. And we'll put this one. Now, differences in temperature. This is a convection baked oven, so there shouldn't be any differences in temperature. But uh, we've got this one back a little further than we the dry ones back a little further than we do these in the front okay and we got our uh, big ones down on the bottom so uh, we're going to leave them in there for 45 minutes let's see what happens hey Daryl from Barbecue Superstars we're at the FBA Triple Crown folks and I'm going to tell you it ain't the FBA Triple Crown unless you're with Team Unknown Barbecue and we haven't seen you all for a while how you been doing great how about yourself well real good and uh, Dorsey couldn't make it today I guess he's a little busy yep jobs we love Dorsey and everything. And I just have to ask Team Unknown this big question here. Uh, uh, how did you get your Tennessee whiskey sponsor? A lot of hard work and pulling the right strings, talking to the right people, but it just fell on our lap, sort of. Well, Team Unknown wins a lot of big contests, and you won a big one this year. I forget which one. There was one uh, we seen uh, that y'all won. Probably Thomaston. Yeah, Thomaston, yeah. that's right. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, we had to go swimming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they went out and jumped in the pond after it was over. But uh, uh, I just got to ask you now, what does a Tennessee whiskey sponsor compose of? Um, which part of it? I mean, <laughs> it composes of uh, filling our shelves with a lot of whiskey and keeping us going and keeps us fueled up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's uh, that's what we were driving at, and uh, you know, we had beer night out on Friday night, and uh, 
But, you know, barbecue is supposed to be a lot of fun. And that's what Team Unknown has. And y'all good cooks, but you also know how to get out and have fun with it and everything. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how long your team's been together. And, you know, barbecue pitmasters, you need to take a good look right now because this is the number one team in Florida, and you need to put them on barbecue pitmasters. But go ahead. Uh, we've been cooking about three or four years now. And uh, we've been, in the past year, branched out to a couple other states to try to see how we uh, fared with those guys. But um, yeah, it's, it's steady going and, and uh, we're cooking more contests every year. I don't know what we're gonna do next year yet. It depends on what the sponsors wanna do, but it's definitely, uh, it's still in our blood thick, so. All right, folks, at medium heat, our sauces as we have heated up. We've got our uh, ass whooping golden here. We've got our smoking coals over here. Man, smoking coals really, really stayed nice. I like the way it did. And then we've got our wing time sauce here. So now we're going to set the glaze. Now we're going to start off with our pieces. Uh, we're going to dip them first. And it'll be heating up. All right, what we're going to do is I'll set them right there. Get these. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we do three of each flavor. So we're going to do one. See, I tell you, it leaves marks on it when you try to use tongs to pull them out. Two. Three. And we're going to do one. Two. three and then over here in the wing time we're going to put one two and I tell you that dry, dry doing it dry without butter just didn't work out good at all huh now you got to do a butter bath Okay, so we got our, our wing time. Okay. So, we're going to have to come back, mark these off. Now we're going back and forth, and it's going to get different flavors and different things. We don't want that. Okay, so we're going to set out set out the three mass whooping golden. Okay. Now we're going to set out the three smoking coals. Now we're going to set out the wing time sauce. those pieces of chicken wings uh, there's just nothing like it you see how the deep thick uh, flavor is just loaded down on those pieces folks don't try to get a brush and spread it on dip them in the sauce heat it up on medium heat 
Okay, we got these two big boxes right here. We're getting ready to dip, and uh, it's going to be good. All right, folks, now we've got six more wings that we're going to do, and uh, put two in each one of the flavors there. And we're going to get our tongs, wipe them off again. And, uh, you know, when you're putting them in to the sauce, you can't really uh, you can't really rub it off too much. I mean, you just, you're just putting it in. So we're going to do one from each. One from each tray. I'm not gonna. Uh, I tell you what, I might have to take them out, and put it in because the piece. Since I didn't fold it up, the piece is almost as big as the pot is. Okay. Well, it got wing time on it. We may as well get the wing time one out first. Let me turn it over one more time with this thing because it won't knock the glaze off as good as hard. There we go now. There we go. That's got a lot of wing time on it. I'll put this over here. Tell you what, let's get one out of here and do another wing time. And uh, this is the big round right here. This is the main. This is the main test. Once we go in there and set that glaze, we're going to go in front of the panel. Then it's going to be heads up on who the winner is of this whole thing. That's it for wing time. Let's get these tongs wiped off and let's go to smoking coal. Okay, smoking cold. We're going to take this wing out. Smoking cold. We're going to put another one in. I'll tell you, when the sauce is heat, heated, it'll stick a lot better. Look at there. Man, look at that! Look at that load that just went on there. That's something else. Now that is a sauce wing. Okay, the final one now. The ass whooping. You know. All right, here's the ass whooping sauce. Let's uh, spin this around a little bit more and see if we can't. Man, is that coated good. I'll say one thing for ass whooping sauce. It sure does stay on the, on the meat good. I mean, it's on there. there. Ain't no fight to keep the glaze on that. The glaze is on there. I like that. 
Man, this stuff is. It is on there. All right, folks, now let's take a look at it. All right, folks, there it is. Uh, we got the wing time sauce on the front on the on this side right here. It's a good coat. It's more of a southwestern type uh, flavor. There's smoking coals, uh, sort of a sweet tomato base, and there's ass whooping sauce. It looks sort of like mud. I mean, but it looks it's a heavy coat. I'm really impressed with the way it's stuck to the wings. And then let's go over here on the front. We've got smoking coals. There's um, and then uh, that's ass whooping sauce on the left and wing time on the right. So here we go. All right, folks, let's go inside and set the glaze. All right, folks, look at that chicken. Ain't that something? Man, it all came out really good. We're going to set them in here for a few minutes. It's called setting the glaze. And we're still at 300 degrees. We're going to set them in there just like we're cooking them, probably for at least five or ten minutes. All right, here's the second load. We're going to set the glaze on these. And, uh, you know, you can't do a double dunk. I did a single dunk, but there's some competitors who laugh and always joke about whether they should have did a single or a double dunk. Hey, Oni, what do you think? I think the glaze is already set good enough on these on the bottom. Wow. Look at that. My goodness. I believe that's a big old barbecue superstar. Hell yeah. Whoa. Well, we're going to go over to our panel and see what they say. Hey, folks, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and we're down here with our CHOP Championship wing competition. And we've got ass whooping sauce, we've got uh, smoking coals, and we've also got wing time competing. And we have our beautiful. Uh, bunch of judges here we're going to do a little chop and uh, we're going to give them a sample of each one of the flavors and let them try them out and I've got scorecards folks and you know when it comes to competition we like to do everything fair so we're going to videotape them as they judge this competition for us on barbecue superstars and may the best sauce win how many times have you ever ate buffalo wings God, why do you have to start with the hard question? <laughs> all right, all right. I eat buffalo wings all the time. I love them. Oh, you do? Yes. Okay. Uh, how long have you been cooking? Been, um, about 12 years. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, cooking's part of your job, too, every day, isn't it? It is. Okay. <laughs> all right, tell us a little bit about you know, what about? you know about buffalo wings and what you know about cooking. I love to cook. I've been cooking for about 15 years, and I love chicken, so... Okay. <laughs> Wait and say hello. Hello. Okay, now the first one I'm going to put on everybody's plate is wing time. And, uh, folks, this one is hot. Now, this is not actually the hottest one they should But, uh, wing time makes it super hot that we'll literally catch your mouth on fire. That's got it. That's a whole wing. This is a whole wing, right? That's, that's a whole that's wing. Whole wing. Oh, and right. a partial whole wing would be like just the leg part, right? Yeah, yeah, and, I, and I'll give you that. Oh, that's the right, whole flavor is just the wing. Now, this one here is smoking coal. Smoking coal. So that's the second one on the list there. Partial pieces. Go ahead and get a second plate. And, uh, I'll show you red one, the crack one. And, uh, I hope you don't get no ass open. <laughs> Alright, and then this one here is your smoking cold. Smoking cold. Yeah, I don't have a smoking cold small one for you because the dog got it. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> did she lock it? <laughs> Hey, I got an invisible one. Okay. All right. All right, everybody, let's dig in. Okay, man, you've taken a bite of those first two. Uh, which one do you like better? Or what, what's your impression? Well, the first one's sweet. It's, it's okay. Second one is good. Third one, I think, is the hottest. It's hot. It's hot, but it's good. That's the ass whooping sauce. That is good. <laughs> you can't eat wings without barbecue sauce. <laughs> okay, what's your impression? Of the wing, I think the wing time is the hottest. It has that after kick to it. The smoking cold. It's a little warm, but it's more sweet. And the ass whooping, we're about to find out. Uh -huh. It's best. It's, I yeah. like the ass whooping better. Oh, the ass whooping is the yeah. best one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh. Just smile and wave at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright folks, we got some preliminary results in right now. And, uh, you know what? Uh, to my surprise, I really thought smoking coals would win it all. But right now, I think the favorite looking out until we get the scorecards back is ass whooping. How about that? So would you say if a if, if you were one of the real spicy wing sauce, wing time would be the one to get? Yeah. 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 You know, a lot of the wing restaurants you go in with that are real hot, it's like a wing time type of sauce, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is just better than uh, <laughs> <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wing sauce. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Okay, Amanda, now we want to ask you, uh, do you like the small pieces better or you like the big ones? I like the big ones better. You do like the big ones, big ones better? I do. How about, how about you? Which one do you like? Better? I like the big ones. Big ones? Okay. Yep. How about you? Big ones? Big ones. Big okay. ones. Right. Yep. Big ones it is. As my called, it's good. It's sweet, kind of tangy at the same time, and then it's got um, a warm flavor in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It's all over. Lisa's got a mess all over. Let me, let me get you some wet rags. Amanda got it too. It's both of it. You know it's going to be all over Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. You know, I got them sign my face there. Oh, <laughs> oh dude! You can't eat Alright, folks, there's a whole lot of smiles and a whole lot of enjoyment going on right here, but uh, I think I've got a general idea who's going to win, but I'm not going to say it right now, but we've got our official scorecards being tallied up right now by our professional judge list, and uh, we'll see in just a moment who won. Mm. So one being the, the most. Okay. Two, three. Yeah, number one is no. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. All right. As we were standing here looking at your school card, we got a uh, wing time in third place. Ooh. Uh, smoking coals in second place, and we got a little ass whooping in first place and uh what drove you to to really uh um pick ass whooping as the best one it, it's more um tangy and it's got a, a, a more of an after to it 
Okay, and that's kind of what you're looking yeah. at when you eat hot wings. Right. Okay. Uh, if you'd had a great big old Budweiser, would that have helped? Oh yeah, Bud Light, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, well let's get one another one of our judges up here. Let's see what she's got. Uh, uh, wing time third, smoking coal second, ass whooping first. Whoa! Now what made you choose, choose ass whooping as the best one? What, what you... Because it was hot, but yet it was spicy and sweet at the same time. It uh -huh. wasn't too, too spicy and it wasn't too, too sweet. Well, you know, I gotta say this for ass whooping, it really stuck to the chicken good. It was... I was really impressed with how good it stuck to the chicken. Okay, well, let's have our third one come up. Thanks a lot for your help. Oh, you're welcome. All right, folks, here's our third judge, and uh, she's a little bit mute. She can't talk too good. And... Okay, and uh, wing time in third place. Smoking Coles in second place. Ass whooping in first place. Ass whooping wins the day. Give him a big round of applause. Hey. All right, we have, well, all we can say is ass whooping. Whoop that ass. Ass whooping takes first place. Smoking Coles second and wing time took third. I do like the whole ones better. Yeah. It's got more meat for it. And Daryl can't get in the kitchen because he's locked. <laughs> and we ain't got no racks. Mm -mm. <laughs> It'll be alright. Oh, well, it's not. Thank you, Daryl. Appreciate <laughs> it. I know how to eat chicken to the bone now. <laughs> well, you know I do, but I'm trying not to eat it out right this second. I don't want to save it for later. Uh, it's my snack. It's too cold to save. Well, you got it all right. I do. Yeah, don't get it all out. <laughs> <laughs> still, still eating. <laughs>